Hello, welcome back to BS Life. In this episode, I want to talk about um, this little project that I did um, a while ago. It's actually a quick project. It's a it's a little rigging project. It's actually quite fun. Um, I'm actually um, kind of using um, the AirPods Pro model from Apple, which is actually uh, it was a made available online. This is like this is the original model of the AirPods Pro and it comes in USDZ format and you can see this is actually a really high quality model it's got all the details including all these little shades and materials just for this little little design of the new AirPods Pro right so I came up with this Actually, this was kind of inspired by this post by MKBHD. He's actually like a famous YouTube um, kind of a gadget reviewers. Um, this one actually very interesting. So from this design, th there's actually another one um, that posted earlier. This is just a different version. And my one is actually slightly different as well. It's slightly uh, dorkier. At first, I actually made a mistake and made the, the head the other way around. But, okay, let us let me uh, tell you how it works, actually. Basically, I source uh, the assets, right? Uh, from Apple's model, um, it actually has too much details, including the inside of, of the AirPods. And I actually scrapped some of the details and simplify it for what I'm trying to create here. Uh, when I converted the USDZ um, and import it into Blender, some of the materials, actually most of the materials got missing. Um, I get rid of some of the details, small details that we probably never gonna see, but I actually keep some of them, like this metal shading, and I added some of my design. My Robopods, Robopods Pro is actually slightly dark here. It, it, it actually has tail over here. So when, when I'm thinking about simple character like this, I was actually thinking about character like uh, Rayman, for example. So this character Rayman doesn't really have a visible limbs, no arms, no legs, but this guy have hands and feet. This character is actually really, really interesting. If you ever make AR character, um, Rayman would, would be perfect. Um, perfect study and for animation as well. Most of the time you have issue with arm, but this character is uh, really, really cool. What's, uh, uh, what I learned from this character, however, even though your character only have hands and feet, the way character planted on the ground is actually really important. So if you create a leg for Rayman, for example, you you need to make uh, you need to make sure the bones underneath Rayman is actually there. You can have more freedom, however, but the character still needs to be planted. So if you have character like this guy over here, oops. My computer is so slow. Maybe I just go to this. Okay. And now I can select the armature. I can go to post mode. I don't think I have IK here yet. Yeah, I don't. I didn't set it up. But I have a feeling that I need to have um, two bones to represent uh, the leg. It depends how I want this character to move. If if this character is like a robot, it's probably have this kind of wheel and then so the robots just kind of move around like sliding. But if I want to make him like moving like a normal character, the airport is pretty uh, rigid uh, in terms of design so it shouldn't bend. So this character sh um, probably walk a little bit like a uh, like a penguin, like a pingu. Okay, pingu is also interesting character to study. 
I really want to animate Pingu using Blender. Uh, look at the legs. Mostly, it's like if you are wearing um, swimming shoes. So this character is very unique. And so back to this Robo character. So the way I rig it is actually really simple. I actually made a mistake at some point and I, the arm was the other way around. So that was a mistake. And the head, uh, when I, I rigged this, the head was the other way around. But it's really easy in Blender. If you ever do a rigging, you just go to edit mode and you can make changes. Like if the head is actually the other way around, you just R, Z, 180, flip it. And you see? Now my airport is the other way around, but I, I like the fact that this looks like a, like eyes. Um, the arm. This one at some point it was connected to the body, and I realized okay I need to disconnect it, so I go to edit mode, and in 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 my rig, I simply turn off connected, so it can be connected or disconnected. Maybe if I make this connected. What's gonna happen is we cannot move this arm. It's, it, it will always stick um, stick to this part of the uh, of the rig. But if you disconnect it in edit mode, you have more freedom. So this hand can go as far. So I think this character would be nice to animate. Okay, this uh, I like the, that. The fact that we can rotate it, but uh, I need to. If I were to rig this more properly, the way uh, our brain thinks, we like to have this maybe um, kind of straight. So, anyway, that's a bit of critique. The head and the neck. I also see like this head is currently totally connected to the neck, and I don't have control over this part um, of the airports I probably I should so I can open the the head part if I'm not wrong I actually deleted the inside part of the head so so edit rotate 180 so now back to where it were so in terms of making armature I keep it really really simple the legs probably can be improved okay there's the tail there's the tail part that I could actually make dynamic if I want it should flap like that and yeah I haven't I tried animating this character to Gangnam style dancing so it, I thought it was it could be a fun idea maybe I'll, I'll do that but I look at some of the airport case like I probably need to do some study on Kirby Kirby and the minions this is the airport airport case but the of course the airports being the airport shape is really really simple that's why it's a uh, it's appealing for for me and most people who likes simple characters and it's uh, it's fun to animate. I don't know. There are so many cases. I think it's really, really interesting. And so, yeah, with this character, I will try to animate it. Um, let's see. First of all, I need to have reset this. And so this part, I clearly need to have it disconnected back to post mode now that I screw up this rig maybe I should select all option G option R now it should be back to original file save as well I actually rig the character like this so I can move the arm into position so that's interesting maybe I just what if we just animate this character like in a Sim simplest way oh, okay 
Oh yeah, I realized something. The rotation of this character is not correct. This I definitely need to fix. Oh, he, he can do this kind of rotation. It doesn't look right. However, it needs to rotate on the pivot. Just in case he wants to do this kind of animations. Like, uh, I forgot uh, the dancer name. Oh well. And the, the legs, however, uh, if we just read the character like this, we don't have control over the, the legs. And if we, if we move the body around, it's uh, the, the legs and the feet are not planted to the floor. And that, that's going to look wrong. So we might need to add some IK. The quickest way is to use F3 and then add IK to the bone and then to a new empty objects. However, this object is going to be not inside the bone, so you, you have to keyframe it on the object level, which is also not the most efficient. But it will work sometimes. Let me try anyway. So select this. Select create IK. Oops, no, no. Go to object mode. So do we have we have IK control for this character, but this IK we also need to fix the constraint. Chain length maybe one. Yeah, that's probably better. Go to post mode. So this one at least is kind of connected to the floor. It's gonna sometimes go through in and out like I said we might need two joints for this IK to work properly for the legs for now I think it's okay so select this F3 at IK new empty objects make sure this IK is only chain length only one um, yeah, I think that's probably enough. We can go to post mode and animate this character. Just a simple one. Let's try two different pose. Select all. Lock rot location, rotation, and scale. Maybe the first pose, he does that. What's the dancer uh, Justin Timberlake was doing a single ladies? Oh, not Justin Timberlake, the other, the other dancer I forgot. Yeah, just sometimes animating just two different poses is actually enough to give it uh, an appeal. Okay, definitely I need to fix the rotations on the arm. I don't like how it rotates. It looks wrong. <laughs> so, it's like he is giving a, a finger or something. Okay. Just two different poses. And if we want it to loop, of course, just select all of them. Just duplicate the first keyframe. So two poses can be very, very effective for a character. But make sure, make sure uh, you, you want to add like uh, some kind of hold some kind of moving hold so in this case I'm gonna drag this there give this a bit of hold for 10 seconds and this one also so if this if this animation is like 60 frames we only have two poses one and two and the, the 
the arm's doing a wiggle. It's doing gimbal lock, a little bit of gimbal lock. So that's uh, that's okay. I'm gonna fix that later. It's kind of cute, kind of cute like this. Maybe he's uh, showing off his muscle. And the head also currently it doesn't have any constraint control. But I want the head, for example, to maybe look at the camera or just stay looking at the front. I can just copy this, copy that, copy there. Okay, in here, the head should be like that. Oh yeah, I don't have, I didn't keyframe the, the head, that's why. This is of course a very simple character, but once you go and have a more complex character, you will have a lot more control. Currently the way I set it up as well, I simply animate the bones. I didn't think about controls, but if I, if I were to rig this character properly, I need to have some kind of control so I can work with just the control and never didn't really use the bones unless I really need the bones. So that's something to think about. Character have uh, the neck. So neck's actually very important as well. So you might think you only need one joint for the head, but you always need to have the neck. Same thing here with the legs. I should have made two legs. So even though he is only his legs only something like this, it needs to be planted on the ground. So I need these invisible bones, I think. So I might go back and then fix the, the bones. But now we have an animations of this airport and all I need to do is export it out for USDZ. He's supposed to, I think, have, okay, he's in a pose and then he's holding it. Nice, go back to the original pose. And you might see there's some, there's an issue there. Yeah, it should never uh, penetrate like that. It's gonna break the illusions. This, we have a, we have a gimbal lock. That's why the, this goes inside. Gimbal lock is, uh, if it's using rotation XYZ Euler, and the rotation is kind of confusing. Okay, it's it's confused by itself on where to actually to rotate. Here also I found a mistake. I definitely need to go back and fix that. This needs to rotate correctly. It's a simple character, but you can learn a lot simply by rigging a simple character. If you ever want to do animations. Okay, now it's probably slightly better. There shouldn't be any penetration and this rotation is still doing something weird like a wobble. But Blender normally is pretty clever in trying to figure out the rotations and interpolation so it's not doing a gimbal lock. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It's very simple. But you might you might be um surprised by dance move a lot of dance move from what i learned from the video i'm not a dancer i have an auntie that's a dance that's actually a dancer aerobic dancer and she actually she planned a lot of dance pose and she has like a sketchbook i it's a very thick so like a lot of dancer actually keep like some kind of drawing you will be surprised as well they are not an animator but they they draw a lot of poses and lots of simple poses, and you just layered um, because when you're dancing you normally animate 
animate the character to the rhythm. So there's like a beat. So you keep the dance simple at the beginning, but you're gonna add more layers and more layers to it. So it's that I think that's really important in terms of animations principles. Not many people talk about it, but uh, it's something you will figure out over time anyway. You layer the animations, but start with simple and readable pose. So silhouette, if you look at this guy, silhouette. Um, there's a way to turn this into a single material, flat, flat, single, material, so I just want to see if you can see, you can read the silhouette, so if the silhouette looks correct, if you're doing a character that's dancing or even animating anything, this, uh, this is really important. colorful airports but anyway that's a simple look at character I didn't really talk much about the rigging process but uh, you got the idea we need to rig the character this character is of course based on the airport design and this someone posted the first I, I don't know who is the actual first person who posted this character but I made my own version I'm using the airport pros for the head and of course the body is the airports amateur or classic so there you go that's the airports character oh if you see this the character the way it stands is pretty weak at this point you also I also need to fix that so if it's a 3d AR character it's gonna be seen from every angle so it needs to look correct from all around it's like you if you're a real performance character um, so you need to animate in 3d not just to the camera so that's important I will export this um, yeah I have another something I forgot to talk about but basically there is this uh, Japanese pop group um, that's a while ago like five or seven years ago they released the motion capture performance that you can apply to your character oh perfume okay perfume FBX if you search perfume FBX you will find the motion capture data of this Japanese uh, group okay not that perfume This is something that I will try to apply to this simple character. Oh, my internet is super slow. But just for an idea, oftentimes motion capture is something you... It was captured using real human body, so it doesn't always fit a character very well. But you can look at the... You can look at the animation data and pose and then try to take the pose and apply it into your character and make your own data in a way you're you don't just take the data and then just apply it into your character oh look at this this goes inside again so that's pretty bad in that case i need to keyframe it over here as well so this become very messy pretty quickly lot of gimbal lock there okay anyway just an example so perfume perfume jackpot I think motion capture data FPS and you should find a link to get the data okay this is this is perfume perfume is actually uh, like they are real humans but the way they treat it they're like a, they're like an Android in a way three Japanese dancers they really dance to and choreograph into the their performance on the stage. They're almost like a robot. Anyway, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.